welcome to our weekly broadcast of the African Treasures. Here we bring to you African arts, culture and music. We also discuss issues of concern to people of the African descent in America, the Caribbean, South America, Africa and all over the world. We invite you to come and see Africa in a positive light. So stay tuned and tell your friends to do the same. Welcome to another episode of the African Treasures. I'm Dr. Michael Keke, your host. Uh, several shows ago, we uh, presented to you two students from North Clayton High School here in Atlanta that uh, were winners of the uh, Afri 2004 African Cultural Students Exchange Program. And they were on their way to, they, they were getting ready to go to Africa for some African experience. Um, on this program, what we do is that we'll uh, try to uh, sent two African-American uh, high school kids to uh, students, excuse me, to Africa for a real-life African experience so that they can visit motherland, come back and share the experience with uh, their friends and with our viewers. And um, these students were present during this uh, program that we did several months ago be before they left for Africa. And during the program, uh, I promised you that when they come back, uh, from Africa, we we'll bring them to the show to share their experience also um, with our viewers. And um, today they are back and they are on the show and we are here to chat with them. Um, they're a person of Jasmine Sykes and uh, Oshia Ross. Welcome back from Africa. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so you visit that motherland. Yes. yes. Um, how was the experience? Jasmine? Um, it was great. Um, well, by the time we got off the plane, I was just happy to get off the plane after seven and a half hours. But once I finally hit the ground, I, t I was smiling at O'Shea and laughing because I was like, we finally made it. We're actually in Africa. By the time we made it to the hotel and stuff, um, it was early morning. So we basically stayed up for the rest of the day. You visited what country? We visited the Gambia. Gambia, what city? Um, Banjo. Banjo. That's yes. the capital. Yes. Don't tell me you've forgotten the place <laughs> you visited. <laughs> you visited. Well, like on the too. show, we, um, uh, when we did this show several uh, months ago, when you were getting ready to go, the plan was for you to go to Ga Ghana. Yeah. And of course, that, pl you know, that plan changed uh, for uh, a few reasons. And then uh, we had to send you to uh, Banjo for um, a real African experience. And so I, want, I just want our viewers to understand because we had presented to them that you were going to Ghana, mm -hmm. Accra, Ghana, and you ended up going to Banjul, Gambia, and which was just a few countries away. Mm -hmm. So what was your feeling when you were about, I mean, when you got off the plane, to I mean, when you left America across this, uh, the Atlantic Ocean, what, what was going through your mind? Well, on a plane, I was kind of skeptical because I didn't know what to expect. Okay. But by the time I got off the plane and was actually there, I was more excited and just overwhelmed that I was actually in Africa. I never thought I would be there. Okay. Um, did you remember what the uh, apprehensions you had before going? I mean, what was going through your mind? You know, I mean, I, so I'm just curious, you know. <laughs> I mean, well, I was curious about what I was going to eat if I, if I was going to eat what I was going to eat, uh -huh. the type of environment. Was it going to be too hot? Was I going to sweat? Was, I mean, what was, what was going to happen? I didn't know what to expect. Sweating was a concern to you, right? <laughs> I mean, it's just... <laughs> Sweating was a concern. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Everybody has their own little concerns, but your concern is sweating. <laughs> okay. uh, O'Shea, what was your experience? I mean, what was your feeling when you were, uh, uh, when you took off across the ocean? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, I've, I've never been on the plane for more than four hours, four or five hours. And, be, you know, the idea of being over the ocean and knowing that you're, you know, there's nothing but a big body of water under you, it's, uh, it's different. What do you think you were going to see? When I first got there? Um, well, you know, I knew it was nighttime. I got the plane to see that, but I, you know. Were you able to sleep in the plane? No. Anxiety won't let you do that? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, I tell you, we are going to take a little break because there was uh, some things you said, Jasmine, during the, uh, uh, before you left on the show. And I'm, we're going to take a little break, watch the clip of what your expectations were, 
and we'll take a little break and do that and come back. Okay. How about that? All right. Please stay tuned. We'll be back. Uh, the two of you were born and raised here in America. Yes. And uh, from the uh, uh, television, radio, newspapers, and everything you've heard, I'll first of all ask you, what do your friends think of Africa? Oh, I mean, Jasmine? Well, we were talking about that today at the lunch table. They were talking about how we're going to be sleeping in huts, um, watch out for the animals, don't get eaten by lions. They were talking about the mosquitoes, make sure you take a lot of bug spray, don't drink the water. It's just negative. That's all we see on TV. Is this what your friends yes. think at school? Yes. Now, w w growing up, this is all you've heard? Basically, yes. Oshia, what do, you, what do your friends think of Africa? What well, comes to What do they say about Africa? Well, they say that it's very, very hot, and they uh, basically about the same thing that uh, Jasmine's friends say, my friends say the same. You know, my orientation is uh, in, uh, in the Bible, so, um, um, so I'm used to asking what do people think, and then, then what do you think? So what do you think of Africa, Jasmine? Well, I don't, I don't I mean, what's know. your own personal imp impression of Africa? When, when uh, somebody says Africa, what comes to your mind? I would, like they said, I was just thinking of the animals. That's the first thing that comes to mind, animals, yeah. Africa. Um, I would think about, um, I don't know. You don't know. Uh, O'Shea? Well, when I think of Africa, uh, I think of a land of rich tradition, a lot of culture, you know, something real rich. We are bringing the treasures of Africa from all parts of the world straight to you. Welcome back again to African Treasures. Our guests today are uh, Jasmine Sykes and uh, Oshea Ross. They just came back from Africa, uh, participating in our 2004 African Cultural Exchange Students Program. And welcome back again. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, the clip we just saw, because we're talking about your experience, uh, you know, what your, uh, you felt before you went to Africa and now what you uh, experienced. And, um, um, of course, you said you were going, you, you, the, your friends talked about the animals and huts, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, living in uh, cardboard houses and stuff like that. So, uh, did you find any animals? I mean, did you see the animals you were talking about before you went? Did you see them? No, I didn't see them. You didn't see them. them. Uh, what about the men killing lions and stuff? Did you see them? No, it was more modern, more modern than I expected. Really? Um, by the time we reached the hotel, um, we rode in trucks, and I even seen a couple of BMWs on the road. Oh. So you didn't see any Were lions. they driving on top of water, or no. they were driving on, on land? <laughs> no, they were driving on land. Okay. Dirt roads, of course. Okay. But it was way more modern than I expected. So, um, did you see Tarzan? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't know, because these are the things that people here think you, you find in Africa. Uh -uh. Uh, Oshia, what did you see? What did I see? Well, yeah. Because you had talked about, you shared the same views with uh, right. Jasmine on that tape. Well, I mean, it's modern civilization. It's, the, yeah. you know, people just have no idea. Okay. That's all I know. Uh, what is your, uh, um, as what's your feeling uh, between what you thought you were going to see and what you saw, or what you've been hearing all your life, right. growing up, for your friends, from TV and everything? Tell me the contrast. Well, uh, we... Uh, we were always told that, you know, it's, everyone's very poor, you know, um, very behind, but it's, it's really not, it's not true at all. What is it? Well, I mean, there are people over there that are wealthy. We saw, you know, we saw a couple of people uh, dressed very nice. Did you stay in huts? No, they stayed in nice brick houses. No, no, did you stay in huts? No, we st <laughs> Okay, because your friends were concerned right, that, right. you know, you should take something with you so that you can sleep well in huts. So. No, we slept in a bed in a okay. nice hotel. Right. And uh, tell me uh, the things you saw that are what you've been seeing at, on TV here that are really uh, not quite correct. Right. So, it can, so, so it can help people who are here understand what Africa is Africa. as opposed to what is being portrayed to be. Right, right. Africa is a beautiful place. My, my thing is the, uh, the way they're depicted as being very run down. It's just really not true. They have houses that are structurally built a lot, you know, a lot better than houses here in the U.S. And it's just... Uh, oh, you saw that yourself? Yes, I saw that myself. I saw they had some perception. Your, uh, uh, 
your plane landed where? Did, did it land on trees? I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm being sarcastic here because for, for 20 something years, that's all I've heard here. No. And I want to hear from teenagers. Yeah. You're 17, yes. and you're 17. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, that's why we're doing this African Cultural Science Exchange program, so that you go there and see for, your, uh, for, for yourself, come back and share this with your friends. Right. Yeah. We, uh, we landed at an airport. You did? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, on a runway okay. uh, in Banjo. Banjo, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't want to beat you up. Uh, the idea is uh, for you to uh, compare and contrast. Right. That's why we have this show, so that um, you can tell the difference between uh, negative propaganda that we have suffered a lot yeah. from here and your reality. And when you go back to school, um, school, school starts next week. Next uh, week. Exactly, week from today. Yeah. And you have, uh, did you uh, have pictures? Several. So what kind of pictures did you take? Well, I took pictures of the houses, the different people in the villages. Did you go into the villages? Went to the village of Jafar. So what, what was the village like? What, see, when people talk about village, mm -hmm. you, you can't begin to imagine it here in America because no. America doesn't have villages. No. They may have countryside, but not villages. So what's a village? Describe a village. Well, the village, as we saw it, it's a community. It's a lot different from when we were in Banjul, but uh, it's a community of people that are, they appear to be very close, like family. You were telling me uh, when we're, uh, before the show started uh, how you were walking in the uh, marketplace and the lady offered you food. Yeah, actually, um, it was down from the hotel and they were out eating on the porch and uh, they were having fish and rice and she saw me walking and she said, um, son, have you ate? I was like, not yet, in, a little, in just a little bit, I think I'm going to get something. No, come eat with us, come eat with us. Did you know her before? No, <laughs> I didn't know her. Can you explain something like that here in America? No. <laughs> You're walking down and somebody asks you, oh, have you even come have some food? No. That's African hospitality. Exactly. You know, so uh, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm excited you got to experience that because that's what the community is all about. We share. And um, uh, the good thing about it is you had a chance to go and see what, how we live. And, and how your ancestors lived and uh, where you belong, you know, where your roots. So um, we're going to take a little break and uh, come back again and uh, uh, chat with uh, Jasmine and O'Shea. Stay tuned, please.
I found my physician and dentist in the Ebony Pages. Ebony Pages is our family directory. Ebony Pages is the only directory that caters to the minority community in the metropolitan Atlanta. For businesses trying to reach the minority communities, Ebony Pages is your vehicle. And for individuals and families trying to find businesses to patronize, Ebony Pages is your vehicle. And for more information, you can call 404-209-8654. Welcome again to African Treasures. If uh, you want to see a continuation of this show or you missed it, you want to see it again, remember to log on to our website. It's www.africantreasurestv.com. You're going to see uh, uh, all the shows we've done uh, since the past two years. And uh, our guests today are uh, Jasmine Sykes and Oshia Ross. They just came back from Africa. These are Teenagers that uh, African Treasures sent, sponsored to uh, Africa for a, uh, uh, a week of uh, excitement and uh, African experience. And um, welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. I see um, when you were on this show, uh, before you left, you were wearing your, your American outfit. And um, I, um, I'm, I saw, I saw uh, Jasmine this morning and it's all decked out in a contemporary African uh, lady's outfit. You look, you, you look gorgeous. Thank you. They look gorgeous on you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you call that? You bought that from Banjo? Yes, when we went to the marketplace. Located. Yes. How do you, I mean, the fabric is different, but the, 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 the tailoring is, uh, is a little now. Yes. What do you, I mean, what do you, what attracted you to buy this? Um, well, O'Shea was, we are actually in a shop, and O'Shea was friends with the lady. He became friends with the lady who worked in the shop. She loved O'Shea. Oh. So she offered to give us great prices for a different outfit. So I chose this outfit. Um, she said it would fit me, and it looks great. I like the, um, of course, the camera can see, but you have some carry shells at the end of the, um, oh, yeah. yeah, the tip of it. The camera can go there. Yeah. And uh, we can I ask you to come up and show it. But uh, I just want to highlight that this is, Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Really nice. So did you buy all the, all the um, me memorabilia and stuff? Yes. What, what um, things? And you forgot to bring them to the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, I bought this outfit, and I also brought different bracelets and oh, necklaces. Oh, no, that's you. Wow. So what's that made of? Um, I don't know. But it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> it goes with the outfit. And your necklace? Yes, I bought it also in Africa. Did you buy some other stuff? Um, yes, I brought. I bought some more <coughs> necklaces. I bought postcards and some more outfits for my grandmother. Okay. Any for your dad? Um, no. What is, What is it that we don't honor dads here in America? I don't understand that. No gifts for dad. I mean, he can have a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shay, what did you buy? <laughs> well, um, I brought my shirt here. <laughs> I got uh, it from. Marketplace of Manjo, mm -hmm. and uh, I bartered it down. It was originally about 400 Delasi, and I bartered it. 400 what? Delasi. Delasi is what? That's the, the that's Gambian the currency. That's the Gambian currency. And what is the equivalent in, uh, in uh, dollars? About $2. $2. 400 Delasi is about $2. 400 Delasi is quite, okay, great. So you can, you. I bartered it down to you, about 200. You had more money to. Uh, Buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's great. I just didn't have the space, but I bought. A, I bought enough space. What would you say to? Uh, what is the? Uh, what stands out most in your mind about this trip? What stands out most is just the in this experience. In this experience, I say the people that really took to us. They made us feel very welcome, and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. They made you feel welcome. Uh, the comment we have here. Uh, Africans experience here most, uh, in, in most of the time here in America is that Africans feel superior to African Americans. Did you, did anybody put you down at all? No. Did anybody not ma at all. make you feel inferior? Not at all. But you know that's been coming, uh, I mean, that accusation has been coming our way a lot. I don't know how they arrive at that. But I, I, I personally, and I know I can speak for my, myself uh, and of my friends, a lot of us are here because of African Americans. Mm -hmm. We love African Americans. They are our, our brothers and sisters. And the, the comment is, oh, they're so arrogant, do arrogant African. Do ar so where did this arrogance, uh, this arrogance come from? I don't know. Did anybody feel arrogant towards you when you were in Africa? 
I didn't encounter it. You didn't encounter it? How about encounter you? It no, I haven't encountered anything. They approached you, asked you questions. Did they? How, what was their reaction to your, <laughs> to your braids? <laughs> Well, um, how did they react to your brain? Well, it started at the airport when we first got in. They were like, "Are you from the UK?" And we were like, "No." They were like, "Well, you're from America." I was like, "Yes." And it was like, uh, "Do a lot of uh, men in America wear their hair long?" I was like, "Yes." You, I mean, it's quite common. They're like, "We don't wear our hair long here." I was like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> so, okay. so uh, Jasmine, what stands out? What is the Im impression, or, or what corrections? Have you heard about your impression about Africa on this trip? What difference has this trip made to you? Well, I think I have to go along with O'Shea and talk about the people again. You know, on TV, they always, we always see them starving or people sick in beds. But they Dying were of AIDS everywhere? Everywhere. <laughs> we see all that on TV, but once you get there, you see healthy people walking around. You see, we even seen a teenager who had on some Timberlands and a jersey. So they even wear some of the stuff that we wear in America. So I think the people really made the difference from what we see on TV. Do you think uh, th the media is presenting Africa in a good light at all? Because I I've been talking about that here, but mm -hmm. it seems like I'm a lone voice in the wilderness. No, the TV is not portraying Africans right at all. So it's not, so what, how do you think they're portraying, they're portraying Africans uh, in comparison to what you saw? Um, they're trying to make them seem like we're weak and we're always starving and um, poor. But once you go to Africa and you see the people out there selling their merchandise and people working at hotels and at their jobs, you see they're just trying to make a living just like we are. They live just like we are. It's nice. Do you, um, what do you think, um, uh, do you think it's something, uh, no, what would you tell your friends when you go back to school the, in next week? I mean, I, told, I talked to one of my friends on the phone, and he was asking all types of questions. Did I see animals just walking around? No, you don't see that. It's, like I said, it's modern. They have cars. People are working. People are just doing their everyday thing. Right. Well, um, is this something that uh, you will encourage people to, you encourage kids, I mean, students your age to go? I would encourage everybody to go. I want to go back myself. We spent five days there. Oh, you want to go, go back, back yourself? Back. Yes. Viewers, she wants to go back herself. <laughs> I love this. I love it. I tell you, it. Uh, you know, um, when I started this program two years ago, uh, I didn't know what. To, I know I wanted to uh, make bring Africa to America, so that so that African Americans will see what the heritage is all about and enjoy it and embrace it and be proud of it. Walk around and and be proud and don't f feel inferior to anybody. That's the goal of the whole thing. Self-esteem. You know who you are. Now you've been connected, right? Yes. Did you make any friends? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, she, she was telling me about a, a woman liking you and loving you and all that. What was that all about? <clears throat> well, <coughs> when we were in the uh, market in Banjo, she met me. She said, come here, come talk to me. And I walked over and talked to her. She asked me what my name was. I told her my name was O'Shea. And she told me her son's name was Lama. She said I reminded her of my son, okay. of her son. Okay. And uh, she just took to me. We talked and uh, we exchanged addresses. And she emailed me a couple of days. Oh, ago. you've already come, uh, you already corresponded. Yes, we we've emailed. Okay. And um, so you met one friend. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> several. Several. Yes. How about you, Jasmine? Oh yes, we went to the village. Everybody wanted to exchange their numbers. I mean, their addresses and numbers. Oh, they have telephones there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> cell phones. Too. Yes, they have cell phones. Oh, yes. you exchange numbers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So have you, have you communicated with anyone I haven't of them? communicated with any of them yet, but one of the children who escorted me through the village, I am planning on writing them. That's great. Well, uh, I, I think um, you guys got the experience, but I got the thrill. <laughs> I, I'm the one that's thrilled about this. And, and um, I would like for you guys to go back to school, tell them what you saw. Because the witness of, um, the, there's nothing as strong as eyewitness. And when uh, people your age keep having this type of experience, it, it will eventually help us correct this uh, uh, erroneous mythology that people have about Africa. And welcome back. And with this, we bring this show to a conclusion. Thank you for watching. The trip to Africa was made possible by the following major sponsors. The Metro Ebony Pages and Canopy Corporation. Dr. and Mrs. Michael Akintade of Trinity Dialysis Clinic. 
Mr. and Mrs. Thaddeus Oga of Atlantic Property Development Corporation, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Okoma of Prime Care Learning Center, Mr. and Mrs. Chuka Uzakwe of Quick and Cheap Market, Dr. and Mrs. Jude Ohaya of Trustee Drugs, Dr. and Mrs. Vinicius Ohaya of Trustee Drugs, the Orthodontic Clinic of Dr. Craig B. Williams, Mr. and Mrs. Pino Ifejika Ude of Bond Street Mortgage. Mother Africa has been waiting for you to come home. So why don't you pay her a visit on your next vacation? Ethiopian Airlines, Africa's link to the world, proudly offers convenient flights out of Washington Dulles International and Newark Liberty International Airports on Mondays and Saturdays to Addis Ababa and with return flights on Sundays and Fridays. On board our new Boeing 767-300 aircraft, you can experience a journey as exciting as the destination. Our in-flight service has earned an excellent reputation for its quality and comfort. Let those close to Africa's heart help you discover its beauty. Enjoy our traditional hospitality and superb in-flight service backed by over 50 years of experience. At Ethiopian Airlines, safety, reliability, and service are our top priorities. For more information, you can contact Ethiopian Airlines at 1-800-445-2733 or visit our website at www.ethiopianairlines.com. Ethiopian Airlines, going to great lengths to please. Welcome to Trusty Drugs and Home Healthcare, where we provide you with a wide variety of products and services. Visit us for all your prescriptions, compounding, over-the-counter drugs, children's services, and much more, as well as state-of-the-art, durable medical equipment. Our dedicated staff and registered pharmacists are waiting to give you a friendly and professional service. We are located at 435 Forest Parkway in Forest Park, Georgia. You may call us at 404-366-9088. Trusty Drugs and Home Health Care is the name to remember. Thank you for watching and please join us again next week at the same time as we continue to share with you the treasures of Africa.